Welcome. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about the slice header. So you'll learn what a slice value actually looks like. Let's get back to the first example from the last lecture. As you can see, all these slices refer to the same backing array, right? If a slice value doesn't contain any elements, so what does it contain? How does it find its backing array? Let's see. Here are the imaginary memory addresses for each memory cell here. Let me ask you something. Can you call someone directly without knowing their phone number? In the same sense, a slice needs to know the location, or in other words, the memory address of its array to be able to find it on the computer memory. So a slice needs to store that memory address, right? To do that, behind the scenes, Go implements the slice as a small data structure called the slice header. And in that data structure, it stores the memory address of a slice's backing array. As an example, here is the slice header for the blue slice. It has three fields, pointer, length, and capacity. This is what a slice value looks like under the hood. Note that a slice header is not visible to you. It is used by the Go runtime behind the scenes. But whenever you use a slice value, you actually use this small data structure behind the scenes. The first field is the pointer field. It stores the memory location of the slice's backing array. Think of it as the phone number of the slice's backing array. For this slice value, its pointer is 48, and the backing array's first element is located in the 48 memory address. So the blue slice stores the memory address of the backing array's first element. Since an array is contiguous in memory, so the blue slice can look ahead on the memory to find out the rest of the elements as well. So how does it know how many elements it can look for? Well, that is determined by the length field. Here, the blue slice's length field is 3 because it has 3 elements. So it can only look for 3 more elements in the memory. The last field is the capacity field. It stores how much space the backing array actually has. It stores the length of the backing array after the slice's first element. You can get it by using the built-in cap function, like this. It's 3 here, because the slice's first element refers to the array's first element, and there are totally 3 elements in the backing array. So this slice sees all the elements of its backing array. I'll talk about the capacity field in more detail later on, no worries. So, in summary, never forget this. The slice value means the slice header. So when I say slice, always think that it's a slice header. A slice is a tiny data structure with three numeric fields that describes its backing array. Only that. It's nothing beyond that. Okay? Let's take a look at the red slice's slice header. Its pointer field is also 48, so it looks at the first element of the array. This time, its length field is 1, because it has only one element so it cannot access the rest of the elements in the array for now. For example, let me try to index the slices elements. As you can see, I can only index the first element, not the rest of them. They are hidden inside its backing array. Remember, the capacity field stores the length of the elements in the backing array starting from the slices first element. Here, the red slice starts from the array's first element so its capacity is 3, because there are 3 elements in its array. Let's take a look at the green slice now. This time, the pointer field is 56. So the green slice's first element is not the backing array's first element. The green slice stores the memory location of its backing array's second element. So it cannot access the array's first element anymore. It is because the elements that are located in memory addresses before a slice's pointer become invisible to that slice, so it cannot look back. Here, the green slice's length field is 2, because it has only 2 elements. Although, there are 3 elements in the backing array, but for the green slice, there are 2 elements in the array. So the green slice's capacity is 2. It is because the green slice cannot look back. It doesn't know about the array's first element. Let's take a look at a nil slice. A nil slice doesn't have a backing array, but it has a slice header. It is because a slice value always has a slice header. Remember, a slice value means slice header. The pointer field is 0, 
This means that it doesn't allocate new memory for its backing array because it doesn't have one. That is why you should declare a nil slice when you don't know whether you're gonna add new elements to the slice or not. You never wanna waste unnecessary memory space, okay? All right, that's all for now. In the upcoming lectures, you'll learn more about the slice header. Thank you for watching so far. See you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.